What's going on everybody? My name is William A. Horton and I'm going to be your host today. As most of you guys probably know if you follow any of my social media networks that I just got back from a trip to the Caribbean. Me and my beautiful wife went there for a one year anniversary. It's hard to believe that it's been one year that we've been married. And while I was there I was thinking a lot about relationships and about how I used to ask God to give me that one. I prayed to God that he would show me the one person I was supposed to marry. And then I realized as I grew up and as I matured in my faith that God doesn't give us one specific person to marry, but he gives us qualities of the type of person that we're supposed to marry. Power. This is where we hold them. This is where we fight. God may not necessarily tell us who we should marry, but he's going to tell us the type of person that we should marry. In the Bible, it gives us qualities of a godly woman and a godly man, the type of person that we should marry and the type of person that we should be with. So it's not necessarily about finding the one, but it's about finding the right one. So I want to go over five things that I think are important to look for in a relationship. If you're somebody that's looking for a godly person to marry, if you're looking for a godly person to be in a relationship with, if you're uh, one of the Horizon students or if you're a high school student or a college student, there are certain characteristics of people, of a person that you should look for to get into a relationship with. And obviously, number one, if you're a Christian, the number one thing that you need to look for is, are they a Christian? There's this term that I recently learned, it's called missionary dating. It's where a Christian, a guy or a girl, dates a non-Christian and their mission is to get them to become a Christian. When you do that, the person that's becoming a Christian hasn't really figured out who they are in Christ. And at that point in their lives, they really need to dedicate time to building a relationship with God and not building a relationship with somebody else. So, don't missionary date. You know, if you are a Christian, you should be seeking after somebody else that's a Christian to date. So the number one thing that we should be seeking for when we're looking for a relationship with somebody is that they're seeking God first, that they're putting God first, that God is their number one priority. The next thing we need to really look for is that that person is serving God. What I mean by this is when me and my wife met, we met on the missions field. We were in Africa serving God and spreading the gospel. And maybe you may not meet your spouse or your future boyfriend or girlfriend in such a dramatic way, but they should be serving God. They should be involved in the church. Maybe that means they're involved in youth as a leader or they're heavily involved in youth as a student. Maybe that means they're serving in the children's church or the kids' ministries. Maybe that means they're on the choir or maybe that means they're on the worship team. But in some way, they need to be serving and involved in the church. Another thing you need to look for when you're finding somebody to be in a relationship with is that they speak out about their faith. They shouldn't be a, a secret Christian, a closet Christian. They should be speaking out and spreading the gospel. They should, you should know they're a Christian by the way that they speak. And finally, the last thing you should really look for in somebody that you want to date is that they stand strong in their beliefs. And the best way to be able to tell this, in my opinion, is when it comes to sex. Because when you get into a relationship with somebody and you're building a, a relationship, sex is just something that evolves. And that as humans, we naturally gravitate towards that. And you can tell if somebody's strong in their faith because they won't bend in the sexual realm. They won't fall into temptation. They will wait and hold off until marriage to have sex with you. So if you meet a girl and she's jumping all over you and she's willing to sleep with you, that means that her relationship isn't as strong with God as it should be. That means she's falling to the temptations of the flesh. And if you're a guy and you're pursuing a girl who's a Christian and you're trying to get her to sleep with you, that means you need to back off, reevaluate your relationship with God, and stand strong on the beliefs that the Bible teaches us. Now there are many other beliefs in the Bible that we need to make sure that we stand on, but this one is very, very prevalent in the world that we live in today. So, when you go out and find somebody to date, make sure that they're seeking God first, make sure that they're involved in the church, that they're serving God, make sure that they speak out about their faith, 
and make sure that they're standing strong on the beliefs and the morals that the Bible teaches us. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you next time.